Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of B2Z. Uh, today is uh, May 5th, 2018, and I uh, thought I'd uh, video how I paint my hives. So, you can see I'm using white paint here. It's not necessary to use white, but I use white because it doesn't get as hot. It reflects the light more. It's better for the bees here in Florida, in my opinion. The temperatures here can get really hot in the summer. So I'd prefer white or some sort of some sort of uh, variation of a white. This is not really straight white. This is more like an off-white. So what I do is uh, I give it a good coat on these edges here, on the ends of the boards. You really want to seal these ends of the boards up. This way the water doesn't soak up through the grain. And I give that multiple coats. And I do all the corners first. I, you can see it's just really thick. I mean, this is not supposed to be a pretty job. My goal here is to make my equipment last. It's not to make things pretty. I don't want to build these every year, every two years or whatever. If I can make them last for the rest of my life, perfect. So, I gunk it up really thick. I use a brush. Some people use a roller, you know, whatever you want to do is fine. Just paint it, paint your stuff, make it last. Try to cover up all these little gaps, all these little holes. Again, this is just the first coat, but cover it up. Paint's your friend. It's going to make your stuff last a lot longer. Work it in there. Uh, this is a latex paint. I didn't go out of the store and buy this paint specifically for this. Um, at the time, I was buying a paint for my house. And it was cheaper to buy a five-gallon bucket of paint just for my uh, face plates near the roof line. And so, I just have plenty of it. And this is what I've been using for the past year. Painting all my stuff is latex paint and it's been holding up really well. So there you go. You see, again, I'm just starting off with the edges there because they're going to get multiple coats. I want those edges to be well protected. It's nothing fancy. It's just paint. If you know how to hold a brush, you can paint. <laughs> it's not rocket science. It's Guys, it's just paint. So, there we go. Just keep loading it up. Cover up the crevices, anywhere the water can get in, and allow the, the paint to, and the water to soak in. You don't want that. Let the paint suck it in. All right. So once I do that, and I start painting my the whole side it's probably like at least 85 degrees today here today feels a lot warmer than that so this stuff is skinning over pretty quickly so, so that's why you see me kind of really going a little fast here I get the handles good top and bottom all these little crevices, they get a good coating. And I got the bees. <laughs> a little interested in what the heck I'm doing right here. I'm sure eventually I'll get zapped, but that's just part of the part of beekeeping. Liberal. Liberal is your friend here. Lots of coats is your friend. The first coat is like super heavy. The wood soaks it up next couple coats won't be as bad I do do I just do two coats I 
and I really try to get most of the covering on the first coat completely opposite of what you normally do when you're painting regular but first coat is going to cover everything the next coat is just extra protection in my in my eyes there you go we're just putting it on you're slapping it on there and just putting it all over the place painting the grass you paint everything in the end it all looks nice and the bees are happy I get lots of honey my customers are happy and that is what matters and of course my equipment's good still <laughs> nice thick coat there we go moving along get them handles real good Okay, sides are done. So these are the high bodies. So I not only paint the, the sides, but I also paint the top and bottom edges. I don't do the interior. Anything that the bees can get to on a regular basis, I don't paint. Except for the bottom board. Bottom board gets complete coat everywhere. Because that can get water on it from rain so here we go again nice thick coat give it a good coating a little bit gets inside I'm not too worried about it all right guy got a little guy buzzing me in the face now okay, come on I'm gonna catch you with some paint Okay, we'll do this side. That guy is very persistent, huh? Okay. So this is a, a nuke cover. So again, I'm going to cover up these holes right here. Staple holes. Come on, guy. I'm gonna paint you. And that's how I paint my stuff. You know? By the time I'm done with one brown of the paint, first piece that I started painting is already dry and it can go for the second coat. Again, I'm in Florida. This stuff dries pretty quick here. As a matter of fact, it's so hot, I'm going to go in the pool here in just a minute. As soon as this stuff, as soon as I finish all this. And the bee's still buzzing me. I'm going to get zapped here in a minute, I'm sure. Again, you want to cover up the ends of the boards really good. The open green, you want to get that cover. Okay, this one's already dry. See? Dry. Now we'll do it again. This time will be faster. A little easier second time around because everything's got a nice little coat on it. That's all there is to it guys. So again, hive bodies, everything but the inside where the bees can touch gets painted. The top edges, the side edges, the sides, the outside sides, 
the bottom, so this top, the bottom, and the sides, they all get painted. The inside does not get painted. If a little drop gets in there, I don't fret about it, don't worry about it, I move on. The uh, inner cover, same thing. The sides of it, the top, and the bottom, they get painted. I don't paint the actual inner cover on the inside where it's got the opening. No, I don't do that. The bottom board, every bit of the bottom board gets painted. Every bit. My reducers, entrance reducers, that sort of stuff, none of that gets painted. And again, a simple brush is fine. This brush, nothing special. This is one of those uh, $2.99 brushes, throwaway brushes, and I don't throw it away. I clean it. I clean it and I use it again. I don't think the bees know the difference. I use the same brush to use to brush on my glue to make my high bodies and frames and all my bee equipment. As long as it gets clean before things get dry, you reuse it forever. This is not some sort of art competition. So, okay guys, well, thanks for watching another episode of B to Z. Paint your stuff, protect your equipment. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for the next video, go ahead and post them down below and I appreciate that. I look at all my messages and I answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching.